2024 as the year of the cicada apocalypse. That's because two broods of periodical cicadas, broods 13 and 19, will emerge from their underground lairs simultaneously for the first time in 221 years. The last time the two broods teamed up, Lewis and Clark began their trek through territories recently acquired through the Louisiana Purchase. The U.S. Supreme Court heard the landmark Marbury v. Madison case, and Thomas Jefferson was president. Hype over the red-eyed insects has reached social media, where commenters are both dismayed and excited about prospective encounters with the dual cicada swarms. Which sign of the apocalypse are we on again? One user on Instagram quipped, Leap year, cicadas, and an election year? IDK if I can do it, one commenter on Instagram said. Fortunately for those preparing to spend the spring in their basement, the two broods of periodical cicadas will not overlap, much. Brood 19 will predominantly appear in southern states, while Brood 13 will appear in a small section of the Midwest, mainly Illinois. One portion of Illinois will see an overlap. That's where cicada hunter Gene Kritsky, with his wife Jesse Smith, will be heading this year, along with many other cicada sites, to map out their appearances. I've been doing cicada mapping since 1976. I'm that old, Kritsky told Business Insider. I'm going up into the Chicago region. I'll be there the first weekend in June, where I'll be lecturing and doing some hikes at the Lake County Preserve area. Kritsky, an author, professor at Mount St. Joseph University, and creator of Cicada Safari, an app that crowdsources cicada photos for scientific research, is excited to see cicadas again this year after last year's stragglers. He's very aware, however, of how polarizing the insect can be, both on and offline. That's because they show up in thousands, make a lot of noise, and their crushed remains can even be a hazard to drivers by making roads slippery. Sometimes, they can harm young trees by attempting to lay their eggs in them. However, cicadas are harmless and don't hurt people or animals. I've helped people plan vacations to where the cicadas are emerging, Kritsky said. I've helped people plan vacations to be outside of where they're emerging. So there's both extremes on that. Unlike annual cicadas, periodical cicadas spend years in their underground rooms like brooding teenagers, is that why they're called broods, in 13 or 17 year cycles. In the case of the next two emerging broods, brood 13 emerges every 17 years, while brood 19 emerges every 13 years. There are 15 broods in the U.S., 12 are 17 year broods, and 3 are 13 year broods. Kritsky said this means there have been other instances of two broods concurrently appearing in more recent history. In 1998, we had a 17-year brood come out with a 13-year brood, Kritsky said. So this happens. It happened probably 12 times, at least, in the last 200 years.